everybody, and thanks for tuning in to the very last episode of Scott King Sings in the Kitchen. And tonight we're going to be making two very special dishes. One, pasta amatriciana. Oh, my. A very nice dish that was given to me by my good friend and mentor, Mr. Tony Lucio. The second thing we're going to make is Italian-style roasted peppers. And when I say Italian-style, I mean Italian roasted peppers. There's been a lot of people helping me out getting the right way to do it. I want to thank my friend Luciano and his mother, Antonia Amalfitano, for guiding me through the marinating process, how to pick the peppers. And I'd like to thank Mr. Tony Nardone, my good mentor, who inspired me to make the dish in the first place. So this is going to be kind of a bungee for me tonight, figuring all of this out, and hopefully it turns out good. So let's get started. We're going to start with ingredients. You want to start by picking your peppers. Now this is for the Italian roasted peppers. You've got uh, orange ones, yellow ones, and red ones like these. The pepper selection is very important. You want to make sure there's no... Uh, black spots, you want to make sure there's no decay toward, uh, toward the bottom and that you've got a nice, uh, firm, fleshy texture. So you need four red peppers and for this dish you're going to need just one clove of garlic that later on we're going to cut into four pieces and you want to have uh, plenty of olive oil on hand for both dishes, some fresh basil, some tomatoes. We're actually going to roast some tomatoes as well. So the first dish we're going to get started on is the peppers. So we're going to get a baking pan. We are going to use a glass baking pan. Uh, I don't recommend using aluminum because that causes Alzheimer's. That's something somebody just told me. So what we're going to do is we're going to wash our peppers dry them completely because water and oil shouldn't mix in this recipe and when we've got our peppers washed and dried we're going to coat the entire peppers with olive oil and then we're going to place them in our roasting pan and while we're doing that make sure that the oven is on broil and we're going to get ready to do that. Make sure you wash the peppers, dry them completely, as we said, water and oil don't mix, and then when you uh, put olive oil all over them, make sure it's in a plate, not on top of a towel, because towels absorb all the olive oil. So put your little bit of olive oil on the plate, and just coat, and then put into the roasting pan. Okay, so uh, put the peppers in. Now this is the hardest part because there's no pre-established time. In about 15 minutes, the, uh, the peppers are going to start to turn brown. If they turn black, your experiment is ruined, okay? You've got to make sure that they're brown and you want to turn them on each side. There are four sides to every pepper. Now your peppers are covered with oil, so you got to watch for them being brown. Second rack from the bottom. Right now they're starting to get a nice sizzle to it. So again, the most important thing we want to focus on is making sure that they do not turn black. Because black peppers equal no pepper. So we're going to watch and watch, keep an eye on it until they turn brown, then we're going to turn them. And then after we turn them, then we're going to watch those until they turn brown. And this is my first time, so it's a kind of delicate circuit. Okay, everybody, why don't you take your, uh, now these are three-sided peppers. You want to make sure that they get lightly, you know, scorched on all sides. Put them on this rack to cool. Okay, wait until they cool. You're going to get your mixture started. Mixture is two tablespoons olive oil, half a quarter teaspoon of balsamic, and, uh, add a couple of cloves of garlic into, uh, Pieces not small enough to uh, eat. You don't want to eat the garlic. It's just flavoring the garlic. Quarter teaspoon of oregano, salt, pepper, some lemon drops. Get that mixture ready. Also, we've got some tomatoes going right here. A couple of tomatoes also covered in olive oil. We're going to get ready to turn those. Make sure to put them in upside down. And uh, what else? 
Um, we're also going to get our bacon started, six ounces of bacon. We're going to cook that and dry it and get it ready for the big heavy saucepan. By the way, heavy saucepan is something that looks like this. I did not know that. And for all the times I've been told to eat shit, hockey mushrooms are a very good source of uh, nutrients. Okay, and and I guess it's playing now. How long has it been going for? Oh, it is. Is it playing? A minute? Okay, I'll let it that up. Oh, for 11 minutes and 15 seconds. Okay, so I've always wanted to go. do this. And I've been hearing about roasted peppers ever since I moved to Vegas in 99 from my Italian buddies. And they always talk about roasted peppers. And you can buy them in the stores, but there's something special about doing them yourself. Right now, what I'm doing is I'm taking the whole pepper once they're cooled. I'm taking the skin off, setting it aside, taking the top green part. What's that called, man? What is this? Is That's the core. Any? Yeah, the core. Take the core out and the seeds. And then you got these fine, kind of ready-to-go strips. So we're going to drop in this uh, neat mixture over here. And then cool, and that'll be our roasted pepper salad. So this is a white button. All right, Tony, here's the finished project, and you are the one that helped make it happen. I followed your instructions word for word. The final product looks like this. You can see the peppers, the tomatoes, and the olive oil with all the ingredients and the fresh leaves of basil. We julienne them, and they are going to go straight into the freezer, just like you told me, and we'll be tasting it pretty soon. Okay, and while you were not paying attention, we were cooking pasta and matriciana, and it's a pretty easy thing to do. Basically, you get a heavy pot, put two tablespoons of olive oil, get it warm, add a cup and a half of onions until soft, put your uh, four cloves of minced garlic in with uh, about six ounces of pan-fried drained bacon, Add two 20-ounce uh, cans of uh, stewed or plum tomatoes and uh, some of this uh, cooking wine. You want uh, one cup, a little bit of ground pepper. Be careful not to add too much. You can always add more later, but you can never take it away, somebody told me. And stir occasionally for 30 minutes. Oh, yeah, a tablespoon of sugar. And we're going to get our linguine started here in about 20 minutes. And uh, we're going to have a nice sauce to put over in linguine. Add some Parmesan cheese and enjoy with the roasted Italian peppers. And all that's needed is a couple of friends and uh, there you go. If you add a little olive oil to a uh, really dangerous rolling boil, it can stop it from boiling over because the olive oil sticks to the side and that's where the boiling water wants to go. A tip from my uh, assistant here, Matt. Roasted peppers, a really nice sauce flavored with bacon, garlic, and wine. Andy Williams. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> and the final product is linguine topped with parmesan, a really nice red sauce, the roasted peppers. Thanks again, Antonio. Marilyn did some nice bread. Enjoying it with my good friend, Mr. Vernon Wesley Weiss. <laughs> I'm keeping his anonymity. Make sure not to Google that. <laughs> and our dear Marilyn over here who provided the help and expertise. And, uh... Musical accompaniment and provided by Mr. Andy Williams. You wonder, I'm in Interpretive the dance now. by Fu King. Not only do the roasted peppers make a great side dish, but put them together with some Italian bread, fresh mozzarella, and your favorite imported prosciutto, or prosciutto to Americans, and they make a wonderful Roma sandwich. Why stop to think of whether we live up, I live up.